You know, one of the great things about talking to Keith Yandel is you can have conversations about musicals, uh, about pranks, about Iron Man streaks, and now we can add defensemen for the Philadelphia Flyers to that mix. Keith Yandel uh, of the team in Orange joins us now. Keith, first of all, congrats on the deal. Why was Philadelphia the right fit for you right now? Well, I think the biggest thing was uh, just seeing how active uh, Chuck's been this offseason and, and bringing guys in and bringing in big name guys and, um, you know, helping uh, that that roster get even better. So I think for me, it was uh, a lot to do with that and, you know, how all, all in to win they are. You know, there's something strange about putting on a Philly jersey. It seems as if the minute you put this thing on, this just might be fumes from the, the 70s and the Broad Street Bullies. It seems as if everybody grows an inch. And you're a Boston guy, and the Bruins and the Flyers have a wonderful history and a wonderful rivalry. What did you think of the Flyers growing up? Um, honestly, it, it was, I was talking with my uncle last night about it. It was always a fun team to watch, obviously. Um, you know, a tough team, uh, you know, similar to Boston, a, a blue collar city where, you know, they ride or die for their team. And, um, I think for me, that's a, that's a great, great thing to have and to be able to play in front of fans like that. And, you know, one of the best jerseys in the league too. So I think, uh, that's a, that's another, uh, plus. You know, I want to go back to uh, one of the highlights for a lot of people last season. Certainly, it was it was one of mine. Uh, our first Florida Panthers game of the season, and this was after there was all the talk about Yandel's going to be scratched, and that's it for the Iron Man. And you came out in the introduction, and the players were going crazy, and you had a big smile on your face, and you scored the goal, and it was it was just a beautiful hockey moment. Can you take us back mm -hmm. to that game specifically? Yeah, um, you know, it was one of those things where it's just. You, I mean, kind of like every game, but you felt, I felt like a kid. I felt like I uh, had a, you know, a, a second chance. And for me, it was, it was a, to see your teammates. That, that's the biggest thing. You see how happy my teammates were for me. And, um, you know, obviously the fans as well. It was, it was one of those things. I was just happy to be out there and um, to be able to score and just to see how happy everyone was for me. It was, uh, you know, I felt like a little kid again. Some of your memories is uh, now you're a flyer, previous a Panther. What are your memories of uh, the Florida Panthers? What are you going to take away from that experience? Um, you know, you know, it's some of the, some of the greatest years I have playing hockey. Um, you know, obviously we didn't every year didn't have the best team, but uh, you know, some of the you know best times I remember and, and some great friends, uh, some amazing players, the guys to play with. Um, so I think for me, I'll take away a lot of that, a lot of stuff away from the rank, meeting people, um, you know, the guys that they have down there, great guys. So uh, I, I think a lot of it will, will have to do with the guys and memories in the locker room and uh, definitely, uh, you know, miss those guys. You know, anytime I talk to someone from the Florida Panthers, uh, the song always remains the same. Merrick, you have no idea how good Alex Barkoff is. You need to talk mm -hmm. about him more. So, Keith, Alex Barkoff. Yeah, the the guy's a joke. Um, it's it, it honestly it look it looks like he's it, it looks like he he has to play down to everybody else's level because he's that much better than everyone. But um, <laughs> yeah, he he's he's so good and he works so hard for everything. Um, not a guy that just takes it for granted. He's first guy at the rink, last guy to leave. Uh, takes care of himself. Uh, bleeds <laughs> bleeds hockey and just loves. Uh, loves being part of the game and um you know one of those guys that you know i'll miss for sure are we gonna get a cameo from the family here or what keith yeah i don't know my dog just turned on the tv there <laughs> you know you're uh not just an outstanding defenseman a current iron man streak holder right now around the nhl uh but you've got the reputation as one of the great pranksters as well and as you had to head to philadelphia I think people are curious what you have in store, not just for your teammates, but also gritty. Anything going between the ears right now, Keith Yandel? Well, first, I, I'm, I'm my my uh, you know my brain's going on how I can how I can get Scott Lawton. He uh, he tried to prank me yesterday, and um, you know I don't know if he uh, if he's ready for this smoke, but um, I uh, <laughs> I, got, I got some things ready for him. But gritty gritty's a guy. I don't know if I want to even get on his bad side, so. He might be he might be off, off the list. Ask Scott Lawton about his fight in the GTHL All Star Game with Tom Wilson, and you'll find that next time you uh, Philadelphia Flyers play the Washington Capitals, that's all Lawton will talk about because he caught him with one. It's one of I think it's one of Lawton's favorite stories to tell.
Yeah, he's uh, a, a, a from Kevin Hayes. Kevin says he's one of the funniest guys he's ever played with. So, uh, and obviously a tough kid. He works hard. So I'm definitely excited to get to know him. Uh, that's outstanding. Listen, uh, Keith, uh, before we let you go, uh, member of the Philadelphia Flyers, who are you most excited to share the ice with on the orange team now? Um, probably say Carter Hart. Um, I think a young stud goalie like that, um, you know, a guy that's, you know, he's still so young, but he, he's he's got that reputation of being, you know, he could be one of the best goalies in the league. And I think for me, it's probably him. That's outstanding. He's a great young prospect. Listen, thanks so much, as always, for stopping by, Keith. Uh, much success with the uh, rejuvenated Philadelphia Flyers squad. Chuck Fletcher uh, getting to business uh, early and often, and I don't think anyone thinks that Chuck Fletcher's even done. But a uh, nice piece of business wrapping you up. Congratulations mm -hmm. on the new deal. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me. There he is, Keith Yandel of the Philadelphia Flyers alongside.